Hey, Asa. What's it gonna be? Do you have an amazing album that talks about a kid growing up in a city that is surrounded by gangs but he doesn't want to murder a fellow black man because one dude is wearing blue and one is wearing red and maybe wants to have a normal crime free life with deep meaning but also very good melodically? Sure we do. Double cheeked up on a Thursday afternoon. Hella ass, the sun is still out. What's up fellas, it's your boy Gatsu. Today we're gonna talk about Kendrick Lamar's Good Kid Mad City. Now, Good Kid Mad City is about a good kid in Compton. If you don't know what happens in Compton, it's like Las Vegas, you know, but like a shithole. What happens in Vegas stays in the Vegas. And the bodies that get killed in Compton stay killed in Compton. Or maybe it's like one of those places where you, you fucking come back to life, you know? It's like that one Brandon Rogers skit. Anyways, I can really really relate to this album because I live in the fucking hood, right? Like where I live is said by most Georgian people that it's the worst part of the city. And uh, yeah, I, I definitely do agree with that. And when you grow up in the hood, it's that you experience a lot of gang shit and you get involved in a lot of them I've had my share of fights I've seen my fair share of stabbings and I've seen many many shit but you guys shouldn't worry about my safety because first of all they can't beat my ass up and second I've, I'm finished with all that you know it's very easy for me to avoid the gang life because I just don't go outside man <laughs> like <laughs> how the fuck can you get into gang wars if you don't go outside I don't have any hood friends i have two but like their interest is not in the hood their interest is in their lives so they're good fucking kids and you know i never really liked any of these gang shits like dude i don't want to fucking hurt people is that too much to ask for right but when you go to school in the hood when you live there for all your life it's bound to happen at some point but now i've learned how to distance myself from it um i just basically just go out to the good parts of the city <laughs> so yeah that's that so that is why this album is very relatable to me and just fucking hits me in the heart you know let's talk about the songs now though bitch don't kill my vibe now i'm pretty sure this song comes pre-installed in every car and in every phone because it's such an amazing amazing song right i'm not even gonna explain what it is because i'm sure you already know the song right bitch don't kill my vibe is that kind of a song that like when you're hanging out with someone you're like in a happy mood right you go out in a happy mood your dick's hard you just robbed your bitch you know just very very fun stuff and then you go out and he starts being very negative and shit you know like you start telling him about your plans like yeah man i'm starting to get this job and she he throws out some shit like they're not gonna accept you listen up here fuck boy i could have stayed at home jacked off and not have listened to your fucking bullshit ass negative ass shit but he's over here going hey, it's not not gonna work out you know fuck you man suck my balls so yeah that's what this song is about bitch don't kill my vibe could also be about girls killing your vibe but um, i don't know the next song is money trees money trees uh, i mean i didn't i really really liked that song i mean the song was i thought the song was good right but i didn't have it on like loop for days and days right so i just thought it was a good song so, and i didn't listen to it often but these past few days maybe like the past few one maybe like the past one or two weeks i've been listening to it a lot and my favorite part is easily anna wise's verse man like she comes in with such a she has such a pretty fucking voice man and it just fucking matches kendrick's raps and everything like buttering up a butthole you know just fucking butter it up just get some spoon and just fucking eat it out right mad city now nah, white dudes don't really have the n-word pass except me of course but <laughs> when, when they go to a kendrick lamar show and kenny plays mad city they somehow automatically acquire the n-word pass right like just look at this <laughs>
Mad City is a very good song, very melodic and very deep actually. Song is about pyros and creeps, blue and red, Batman, Superman, USA, China, girls, Cloud9 Sneak. In the USA, I think it's like creeps and the blood. That's how they figure out which one you are. Depending on your answer, they might shoot you, they might not. And basically, this whole album is about gang violence. And in my opinion, gangs are fucking stupid, man. The fights could be so easily avoided, right? Why anyone would choose a life of crime is beyond me, man. When they have a future to look up to. Like, these dudes can go to high schools, finish high school, go to university and get a stable job and drive a fucking Audi or a Mercedes and they choose fucking, yeah, man, let's just shoot some up. Like, bro, you're just throwing your life away like that, man. You're just gonna go to prison, get fucked there in the ass, and then come out and probably go back to prison again, let's be honest. So, yeah, I don't recommend the gang life for anyone. I've experienced it, not for me, and <laughs> probably not for you, too. The next song, Swimming Pools. Pull up. Headshot. Come shot. Swimming Pools is a very very good song. It's very relaxing. Actually, I don't know what to say about this song. It's like just go listen to it. It's actually very good. I really like it. It's very relaxing, but I have listened to it so many fucking times that I don't like it anymore, right? It's not that the song is bad. It's very 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 good, but I I've just listened to it so many times. My head just hurts. Pull up, drink, hisha, drink. And the last song I'm gonna talk about is Sing About Me, I'm Dying of Thirst. Ooh, this song, man, this fucking song, so fucking good, man. Just let me drink my iced coffee before I get into it. Oh, yes, I like men. How did you notice? Oh, buy my iced coffee. Yeah, thank you, man. Can I have your number, by the way? Now, nah, Sing About Me, I'm Dying of Thirst hits very, very much home for me because, like, at first, I didn't really like the song, right? It's fucking 12 minutes long. You think I don't have ADHD? You think I'm not fucking autistic? You expect me to listen to a 12 minute song? What are you fucking insane? But when my autism went down a bit, just a bit, guys, don't think they went too much. Just, just just a little bit right i started liking this song very very much my f my homie started talking to me about it and he was like oh man so fucking good man so relaxing so good man and i was like yeah but it's fucking 12 minutes man but this one day i came home very very tired and just fucking started playing this song because it showed up in the recommended or i think i searched for it it's not important how i fucking played it right but i started playing it and oh man it was just like fucking dope me going through every cell in my body right like from my toes to my head just relaxing very good and henny's flow here is a very very good it's like the beat is very minimalistic it's not like fucking hey little kiss baby and shit like that right the beat is very minimalistic and kendrick's flow is not like something out of this fucking world you know it's a pretty normal flow but like after a few minutes you just get into the vibe of it get into the flow of the music and you and the music become one right like, it's like the thing where they put a dildo in two girls asses and they like connect them with each other it's like that <laughs> for a song you know so yeah i i only wanted to cover these songs because i feel very very strongly about these songs and the other ones are very good but i don't think that i could talk about them a lot other than the hey, it's just good man yeah yeah that's it they are good they are good kendrick Lama? Ooh, they are good. Switch it down, test the album, ya bitch. I round out, ha Just flexing my knowledge of languages to y'all, boys. So, yeah, just because I didn't talk about the other songs does not mean I don't like them. I think every song on this album is very good, but these five or six songs are the masterpieces of it, I think, right? Maxi Freestyle is good too, but not up to the level of these songs. But does that mean that I'm not going to give it a perfect five out of five? Fuck no, bitch. Five out of five. Best fucking album. Amazing. Amazing, man. Am I biased because I'm from the hood and I know what the fuck gang shit is? 
Yes, I am. But then again, I th still think it's a very good album. If you're not biased like me, it's gonna be at least a 4 out of 5 for you. So yeah, guys, remember to not be in the hood, not be in gangs, because that road leads nowhere. I've beaten up my fair share of people, I've gotten my ass beat a few times, and I've seen my friends get stabbed. It's not a good fucking look. If you wanna live a good life, don't go for that gang shit. So yeah, fellas, I hope you enjoyed the album review and a little bit of a life lesson to not be a fucking idiot with your life and yeah that's been it thanks a lot for watching like and subscribe if you enjoyed comment your thoughts about the album down below right because i might just review two pimple butterfly too because that's a very very good album too and yeah goodbye Follow my fucking Twitch. It's 3.46 a.m. I'm done editing. Follow my Twitch.